Hallelujah, John. In the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah, John. In the presence of God. Hallelujah, John. In the presence of God. Hallelujah, joy, 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 in the presence of God. Hallelujah, joy. In the presence of God, hallelujah, joy. In the presence of Jesus, hallelujah, joy. In the presence of Jesus, hallelujah, joy. Lift up your hands and say to God, let your presence bring joy in my life this morning. Let the joy of the Lord take over my spirit that I may be strengthened. There are one person under the sound of my voice that needs strength. You are feeling so weak. You are feeling so weak. And the Lord wants to strengthen you. I want you to Ask God this morning, let your presence strengthen me. Let your presence strengthen me. Let your presence strengthen me. Remove every weakness. Remove every weakness. Every weakness in my spirit. Every weakness in my soul. Take them away, O oh Lord. Strengthen me. Let your presence bring joy in my life. And also strengthen me that I may be able to be driven to the right hand of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in his right hand, pleasures forevermore. That is where we defeat every depression and every sadness, every unforgiveness and anger in the spirit is defeated in the right hand of God. I want you to pray that prayer. Don't relent. Don't stop. Pray that prayer that the joy of the Lord will be giving you and the strength will accompany it. And also that you will be driven, this joy will drive you to the right hand of God where you will defeat every unforgiveness, every depression, every sad story, every rejection, everything that brings you down will be defeated in the right hand of God. Glory to God. All your enemies will not have edge over you because you will be flying in the wings of God. I want you to pray this prayer. Veto maratu kiabo. Bala kabaratu bos. Zenkema ampaluta. Weru kapawa na seliga. Zimarande kekosa. Brakaba ino talaba zanka. Oh, se prana gudai. Belunta faraba sankai. Yes, Lord, that nothing will be able to stop you in the presence of God. It is impossible to be limited. It is impossible to be stopped. Nothing has power to stop you in his presence. Glory to God. Vama kerebosa, zemalam pradobo simabantai. In the presence of God, hallelujah joy. In the presence of God, 
Hallelujah, joy in the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah, joy in the presence of God. Hallelujah, joy in the presence of God. Hallelujah, joy in the presence of God. Hallelujah, joy. In the presence of God, hallelujah, joy. In the presence of Jesus, hallelujah, joy. Today is our 80th day of our fasting and prayer. 80th day of the 150 days of fasting and prayer. Glory to God. If you have not joined, better join us. Join us. Yes, it is still valid if you join today and begin to experience the glorious power of God. Every skills that have been forgotten Every heart that is getting cold for God. Every ministry that is dead beaten. I want to assure you that within this section of fasting and prayer, that they are all going to wake up. Hallelujah. They're going to come alive. They're going to come alive. All the enemies that have gathered together, To swallow you. To eat you like bread. Will be defeated. Upon this mountain. In the name of Jesus. Every long lasted issue. Hallelujah. Those that the enemy have said. That they will never get married. Even though. It is the will of God. In your life. And they keep on bringing. Fake people. God is going to pursue them away and take you to the original plan of God. Hallelujah. Those that are going along with the wrong persons, with the wrong mentality in this Christian race, kingdom race, God is going to shape your sight. And bring you back into the path and the word of God. That's why we're praying. Hallelujah. Long lasted issue. Coming from family members. Coming from husband. Those whose husband has been abusing. God is going to quench that fight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that the enemy has driven to the left side. God will bring him to the bring them to the right hand of God. This is why we are praying. So this morning we're going to read Psalms chapter 80. We're going to pray Psalms chapter 80 from verse 1. The scripture says, Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors and our enemies 
love among themselves. You has brought a vine out of Egypt. You has cast out the hidden and planted it. You prepared room before it and did us cause it to take deep root and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it and the boughs thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her boughs unto the sea and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, her hedges, so that all day which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood don't waste it, and the wild beast of the field don't devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold, and visit thy vine, and the vineyard which thou right hand had planted, and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself. It is burnt with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of the right hand, upon the son of man, whom thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee. Quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is a prayer of deliverance. Prayer of deliverance. I want you to know this morning that it is impossible for us to worship God without faith. It is also impossible for us to come to God if God has not chosen you. The Bible says in the book of John, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. Hallelujah. It is God that has chosen you. So stop thinking, oh, I came to God like you are, you know, you're pitying God and that's why you came. You're just trying to be a good girl, a good boy, a good man. And then that's why you come to God. I would have been somewhere doing some other things, enjoying my life. No. God chose you. You did not choose God. Yes. According to the scripture, you did not choose God. We did not choose God. God chose us. And I want you to know, because he chose you, he is the one that is able to keep you. Now, this is not an excuse for you to be living careless life and say, I'm waiting for God to correct and make me live right. No, now God chose you, but it is in your hand to stay in God. Hallelujah. Yes, it is a choice. To stay in God and obey his word. But our prayer this morning is to remind God that he is the one that chose us. To turn us again and cause his face to shine upon us. When the face of God begins to shine on you. Your enemies has no choice. Glory to God. The Bible says, He will prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. When God turns His face on you, make His face shine on you, you will be living in His kingdom. There will be an evidence 
there will be a supernatural evidence that God is with you. I want you to know, right now where you are, God is with you. God is everywhere. The presence of God. God has to manifest himself for you to experience his presence. But God is everywhere because his glory filled the earth. There is no place God is not. And is not going and coming. God is not going. Like sometimes he will go to Florida and then sometimes he will come back to, to Atlanta. Or maybe he will go to, uh, go to Maryland and then move to New York. God is everywhere at the same time. But you need, to, you need to bring the presence of God through faith and walking in his precepts. That is how the presence of God will be made manifest to you so that the joy of the Lord will come so that you'll be able to be driven to the right hand of God without fear. One of the things that destroy your prayer is fear. Stop being afraid, but let faith grow strong in you. Glory to God. Let the faith of God be made manifest and be strong. Be strong in you. Every fear will be demolished and be destroyed in the precious name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray. Open your mouth. The first prayer will be, Oh Lord, turn your face again unto me. Cause your face to shine. The Bible says, and we shall be saved. The only thing, the only time you will be saved is when God turn his face and make it shine upon you. Open your mouth wherever you are right this morning. Demand that the face of God will shine on you. Let the face of the Almighty God shine upon me. Shine on me. Shine on me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zempara panko robo saladia. Rabba de ken fea barato sebra lakita. Zempra naka duamala. Jeme in patono sabare kataya. Zempre ne gedalabos, rebaba kalea branagados, rebaba din follow brenebedos, rebanke fireballs, relabo sheleba tomve lebabos, rebanke fala branda bakotalabo, reba impetolo zamte lebados, regenve in palakwar brana salabo, jeme robados, rebe de canfene brando lebabos, Rebekin fella brando kobo saibana. In the name of Jesus, shine your face on me, O Lord. Shine your face on my children. Shine your face on my family. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Ema lambra nagabadosa. Reba ken fayabos ke brana te kundo bosala. Zema lika vian torobos in petono zimpalatai. Yes, Lord, shine your face upon me. Shine your face upon my family. Shine your face, O Lord. Baba Ligabos, Kebrana Kaba, Zelebe Duabo Serebos, Ribebe Solobo Kotaya. Yes, Lord, shine your face in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you to also pray. Demand from verse 1. The scripture says in the same Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel. Thou that leadest Joseph like a flock. Thou that dwellest between the cherubim. Shine forth. Hallelujah. Shine forth. I want you to pray this prayer. Lead me like a flock, O oh God. Lead me like a flock and shine forth in my life. When God begins to shine forth, every darkness, the Bible says, the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehends it not. Light 
I don't want you to think about the kind of light you have in your house. That light has nothing to compare with the light of God. When the light of God comes in, there will be no darkness. There is God's light defiles every darkness around you. When God shines, every darkness will be gone. I want you to demand from God and say, Shine forth, O Lord. Lead me like a flock. Lead my family. Lead my children. And shine forth. Two prayer points. Open your mouth. Say, Lord, lead me. Lead me like a flock. Lead my family. Lead my children. Lead my parents. Lead us like a flock. And shine forth in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let God shine forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it shine in your life. Let him lead you. Let him lead you. Let him shine forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. That every enemy. Will see the glory. Of God. Name Paradagas. Zimalabredebos. Onto Zamaleka. Zeshuba i pranakata. Ripotoko preketeleke. Ripa kwaba skindalabas. Rabba denge de som pranagadia. Jema impetoko saleba. Ragle zameru tom power azete. In selu kabatia. Rabba de ken fiabo. In the name of Jesus Christ. God. O oh Lord, shine forth. Shine forth, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. And lead us like a flock. Lead my family. Lead my children. Lead my wife. Lead us like a flock. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shine forth, O Lord. In our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want you also to pray. The Bible talked about feeding the people on the bread of tears. Glory to God. Maybe you have been experiencing all kinds of catastrophe, all kinds of problem piling up one after the other. Today is a graceful day. Hallelujah. God is turning things around. He say, feed us not with the bread of tears. Bread of tears. Imagine when you're eating bread of tears, what do you expect? Tears every time. Tears every time. From one crying to another. From one sadness to another. Hallelujah. Whatever that is engineering that kind of bread of tears, because this is this is this is demonic presence. When God comes in, He wipes away those kind of bread, bread of tears. Anyhow, the enemy has set up bread of tears because maybe you stepped out from the presence of God, or maybe you you have been moved to sin against God, or something. Happen, but the reality is that you are eating bread of tears from one issue to another, from one sickness to another, from one problem to the other, and it has been like that for years, for months, for weeks, for days. Now, God has risen for you. We're going to shout Holy Ghost five, seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times, and Jesus one time. You are going to begin to abolish every bread of tears in your life. Every bread of tears in your children's life. They shall cry no more. Hallelujah. Remember, in the presence of God, the Bible says, the, 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 there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, pleasures forevermore. I want you to pray. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna decree and then pray. Demand that every bread of tears will be destroyed in your family. 
will be destroyed in your life. No more bread of tears. In the name of Jesus Christ, decree and pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus Christ. 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 The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Over the rise. Let your enemies be scattered. Do not keep silence. Zeparabento kutamasala. Reba batolo zipatuku saiba. Lebrama infenobo tenku kasiaba. We dissolve every bread of tears. We destroy them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ye paladuama selege. Ribe de gamve to imparu kasiabo. Zele bantai. Rimba secondo libabos. Reto gemeli gabats. Brancabos ke venimotai. Yenge malika bosa. We dissolve every bread of tears. We destroy them this morning. We shall no longer be fed with the bread of tears. Anywhere the enemy has set it up in our lives, we destroy them this morning. Anywhere the enemy has set up tears without measure, we counsel it. We destroy it. We dissolve it. It is not my portion. No more tears. No more crying. Open your mouth. No more tears. No more crying. In the name of Jesus. Ventolobos. Vekorobos sakiabo. Yes. The Bible says in Psalm 80 verse 5. It said, Thou feedest them with the bread of tears. And givest them tears to drink. In great measure. This moment, no more tears. No more tears. Open your mouth. No more tears. We stop every tears. Every tears. Everything that brings tears into our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sad news, we stop them this moment. Every joblessness, we stop them this moment. Every powers of darkness that is in your family creating confusion. We we'll stop it this moment. We cancel it. We say it will no longer continue. In the name of Jesus Christ, every bread of tears that is targeting you or has been in oppression in your life, we dissolve it this morning. Oh, my riba singa batala, rabado seku kayabos, wema diaba selegabos, ripando lobo sekumba sai. Every bread of tears that has been instigated in your workplace. When you go to work, you just feel like crying. You are not happy. The power of God is dissolving it this morning. We cancel it. We destroy it. It can no longer continue. In your family, you feel like crying every day. Yes, because of husband, because of children, because of your cousin or your family members. We are compariatobo. We are veto a pala to cover. We destroy them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that only tears that will come in your eyes will be tears of joy because of how glorious, of how powerful God has shown you mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more tears, no more tears, no more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. Open your mouth. Every bread of tears coming in your eyes because of rejection. We cancel it. We command power. We command say infelo patuku batua. Brambe covialabos. Integla se branonsa. Lady viabo combri la huria senad. Alato vevuri cambla rule. Rally realabas glebus banane maturia masindai. We dissolve every powers of darkness. 
We destroy them this morning that comes uh, in tears uh, with the bread of tears. Uh, we dissolve it. We command uh, that it's no longer going to be your portion. In the name of Jesus, every bread of tears that is being fed your family as in sickness, sickness every time, disease every time, pain every time. We command by the power in the name of Jesus that those tears will be quenched, will be destroyed, will be quenched, will be destroyed, will be quenched, will be destroyed, will be quenched, will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bali ke forobo simba talagaba. Roba di gabos. Yeri babo tiagabos. No more bread of tears. Yes, Lord. Nima rambe gabasulabada. Robo bo 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 Really gaboros. Very mamo sebidans. You that dwells in the midst of cherubim and seraphim. Arise. Arise, O Lord. That every tears will be abolished. Every tears will be abolished. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every tears, every tears, every tears, tears coming because the enemy has attacked your career. The enemy has seized your license. The enemy has made you not to be upgraded. The enemy has limited your promotion. This morning, it must go. It must go. It must go. You are doing business and there's no customer. Nobody wants it. It's gone. <laughs> I want you to pray this morning. Everything you put your hand from today, from today, we begin to experience the presence of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we abolish every bread of tears. Thank you, mighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just wave your hand. Wave your hand, whatever you are. Say to God, thank you. My Lord, thank you. Jesus, thank you. My Lord, thank you, my dear Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. I say thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. <clears throat> thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. Just wave your hand, begin to give God glory. Say, Lord, I thank you because this morning is a different morning. This week, we shall all experience the presence and the power of God. Yes, 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 yes. Just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because I am walking in power. Yes, the presence of God must manifest in my life. Open your mouth. Your, your face must shine upon me. Thank you, Lord, for shining forth through my family, through me, through my children, through my wife, through my siblings. You are shining forth. No more tears of sorrow. No more tears. Bread of tears shall no longer reside or be in my family. We shall eat it no more. We reject every bread of tears. We thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want everyone that is sick, if you know that you are sick, if you know that you are feeling weak, if you know that there is pain in your body, place your right hand right now upon that pain. Yes, place your right hand. If you know that there is somebody in your house that is sick, 
Glory to God. While I'm praying, the power of God is going to touch you and heal you from every kind of sicknesses or diseases right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Place your right hand. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every pain, every sickness, every pain, every sickness to be out of that body right now. Let the healing power of God flow like rivers. Let it flow from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, healing every disease, every sickness, both the ones you can see and the ones you cannot see. Wherever that pain is, I command healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Lord, for securing your people. As we go in out, no accident, no gunshot, no gunmen or gun women attacking anyone. I cover you all. I cover all the spiritual zone. Wherever you are, the ones, the spiritual zone and beyond. I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. No gun shot against you or against your family. I cover you. Wherever your children are, they are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless.